Hi everyone, welcome to my craft room. I'm Joanne, if you're new here, and Mr. Sky is trying to get, say hello. Um, so I'm gonna prep for the Messy May. Um, I watched Meg's journals this morning and she created her cover and I'm like, oh, I'm so glad they're doing it this year. So I printed out, um, it's a daily-ish journaling challenge for imperfect creatives. All right, number one, show up imperfectly for 31-ish days. Two, embrace the messy middle. And three, remember more than zero is enough. I like that. So um, this 31-day challenge is for igniting a new creative habit, reviving one you miss, or... Um, turning an established practice into an unstoppable force. All you need to do is show up as you are daily-ish, 31 times. So I will tell you, I will not be doing all 31. This printed really big off my phone, I'm not sure. But it's um, the journal prompts. So there's 31. And every day, um, there's their hashtags and all. Every day a new creator comes on and shares what they do with the prompt for that day. So, for instance, there's prologue, nourish, enchanted, blooming, marks, backgrounds, moments, rays, open, reflect, curiosity. That's my daughter's wedding. Won't be doing that. Um, uncover. Who knows? But, yeah, I'll probably miss a couple days. So, I need to figure out the journal I want. I didn't realize they had a journal that was for $15, but I'm not going to get it in time. So, I pulled this one. And it's nice and thick, and it's 10 sheets. I got it from Michael's a long time ago. So that would give me the opportunity for 20 days. Um, I picked this up at Walmart, and it's really thin, but I could glue sheets together. And then I'd have this white, which really doesn't bother me. Not white, the white I like, the lines. Um, I could just sew over some of it. Huh, I wonder how many sheets this is. This is a possibility, actually. Or, 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 or. Let me pull. So I have watercolor paper and a big thing of it. I have lots of card stuff. What's this? Alcohol ink. No, I'm not using that. Um, I would use this, though, to make a book. It's nice and thick. And then I just have to, like, make a chipboard cover or something. Poke holes in it and maybe put rings in it like this. I do have rings. Or I could do my, um, uh, what is that called? Mini, uh, not the mini cinch, the regular cinch. I could do that. So I might go this way. Let me pull out a piece of this. It's really thick, which is nice. And I like that it's yellow. That's the one thing about this too. It is has the brown, which again, I don't mind it. I could gesso some of it, but let's see. Let me put that aside. Let me get my, um... oh, I have so much in here. I've been crafting a bit on my own, trying to get, use some things. I shouldn't say get caught up, but use some like little kits I have and things. So this is 12. So if I cut it in half, I wouldn't want it this tall, but um, could I get four? I assume this is 10. No, it's 9. So if I did this at 4.5, is this the size book I would want? Or do I want it bigger? Let me, I'm just gonna play around here for a second and decide what I want. Let me cut off an inch here. 
I have plenty of it, so I'm not too worried about. So I would probably want it, let me see, seven? Let me try seven. I don't think I would want it bigger than seven. I actually kind of like this size. So it's um, five by seven. I kind of like that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut a bunch of five by seven papers. So what do I need? Like 15, 16 of them? I might go with 15. No, let me give myself room for the 31 days. And if I don't do 31 days, I don't do 31 days. All right, 15 of them. I shall return. All right, I cut up my 16 at five and a seven, and then I cut two at um, five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. So I have a front and a back cover. I decide to use the same paper instead of chipboard, it's fine. But I think I want to cover it with this bag. I have a lot of packing from um, like Amazon and stuff, but I like to use that in my in my collage and I don't know I wanted something a little lighter so I think I'm going to use this bag I have of course I was touching <laughs> the packing paper and now it's a fun time for for cats so they're back there all right so I think I don't care that it's wrinkled at all I'm going to do it like this. Cut some off. I'm going to glue this up with my glue stick. Make sure I get all the corners really well. Next year, I'll know to order. I saw the big Get Messy um, book that they were selling, but I didn't see the $15 one for this. And I would have ordered it, honestly. All right, this is going to have to sit under some books when I'm done. Love this little tool that I got. All right, I'm going to do the corners. Yeah, I want to get this done early, or two days early. It's not really early um, because I uh, because I want to. I had a reason, but I didn't want to really get into it all with my car, my lack of car, I should say. that broke down yesterday. It only had 50,000, it only has 50,000 miles on it. It's a Honda for God's sakes. <laughs> it shouldn't have broke down. But anyhow, this is my front. You can see the little bubble where I missed some, I missed some um, glue right there. All right, let me make sure that's in the camera. So I definitely wanna put, this logo on the front or this yeah I guess it's a logo messy may it's a logo I want to cut it out as straight as possible and that I don't want this to become a big ink book or anything but I just want to do just around the very very edge of this because I think maize like braid and 
I don't want to make this grungy, I guess is what I'm what I'm saying. But I do have a little bit of a white border around some of this, so I just want to get that off. All right, so that's going to fit really well in there, but I have to decide what I want to do around it. So I pulled just what I had to my right um, in a bin that I use for scraps. And I want to see, do I want to use any of that? I have cheesecloth. Might want to use that. Maybe some music paper. Um, that's kind of pretty, and it actually goes pretty well with this. That's kind of pretty, that's kind of pretty. Book page. Let me see what else. I did not look far and wide. <laughs> I have so much stuff that I could use. It's kind of pretty. I thought that was neat. It's pink. Maybe that and that. All right, so I'm not going to do a whole lot to the cover, but I could have even made this a little bit smaller. So I just want to build up a little bit around it. Yes, yes, yes. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to um, bind this book beforehand or wait. I'm not sure. Not sure. Not sure, not sure. Not sure. Something like that. Um, if I did it the other way, it would be upside down, right? I should have. I should have. No, I did it. This is fine. What is wrong with me? do it like on that side all right and then want something kind of pretty pink you know what I really wanted this I really wanted that on the front Is it too big? Yeah. Excuse me. Um, I don't know. But I feel like I need a little more scraps here. What do I have? I want it to be... This is pretty. Let me see what that looks like. Under there, under there. All right, I think I'm gonna put down this piece of um, music paper and that'll be kind of my guide. Actually, let me, uh, ooh, it's upside down. Oh, that's not good, is it? I guess it has to be like this. All right, I'm gonna just put it like right there. All right, I need a gluing paper. I don't think this is good for anything. It's too big. Did you make a book? Did you buy a book? Are you going to participate in the challenge? Um, like there are no hard, fast rules. If you can't commit to 30 days, and listen, when I did it last year and I was working, you know, full time. I, I had a hard time with 30 days. I didn't feel 100% committed to it. Is that what I had over there? No. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> I don't know. But it can go there. 
I'm glad I ordered some new glue sticks because usually these challenges take a lot for me anyway, because I use them a lot for the challenges. I'm gonna go all the way up to the edge here. You know what I might use since I use light? Hi, you're being such a good baby. <laughs> you're being such a good boy. Maybe I do want this on here. I just love packaging. It is one of my favorite things to craft with. I love it, I love it, I love it. Actually, that's not what I was doing. I was gonna have it over more and I was gonna cut it off. <laughs> it's so funny. Well, it's not so funny. It's just, you know, in a split second, I forget what I'm doing. I'm gonna get a piece of paper and cover this. Then I guess I'll do the back, I don't know. We'll see. So that's gonna go something like that. What else do I want on here? I want some of this pretty paper. Because it has pink. Like up here. I don't want these. Oh, I was gonna use some cheesecloth too. That would look okay right there. Or tea bag. I love using tea bag. Love it, love it, love it. Listen, you have to like the cover, right? Because it's going to be what you look at for a while. When you grab your book. And then I'm gonna put the muslin down, I think. Or put some tea bag. Muslin or tea bag. All right, let me pull the tea bag out. I know you're hiding in here. There's one. Now to me, it would go like something like that, which I kind of like, honestly. Or, this is, is it Muslim? I keep saying, did I keep saying Muslim? I mean cheesecloth. I think I kind of like the cheesecloth, to be honest with you. I'm gonna cut some off though. All right, I'm gonna put this down. I don't know if I should have ripped around it. two sides and let me see this 
this here. Yeah, it gives it kind of a um, mixed media look a little bit. Yes. Yes. Maybe. All right, I like that. Do I need a little piece somewhere? Up in here? It's sticking to me. Yeah, I think I do. A little bit right here. And then, Speaking of mixed media, do I want any of this pretty pink? It is gorgeous. That is doubled. I was going to use it in a project. Oh, I like that. I don't want to cover the whole. I like that a lot and I don't mind for some reason that it's straight at the bottom edge. Yeah, this is what it needed to pick up the pink and to be pretty for me. And maybe a little piece. Up in here. Yeah. And then, yeah, it needed this. I thought it was a little dull. And then maybe just a little tiny bit along there. Up there? Or is it too balanced? It might be too balanced. All right, so what I was going to do, I hope I don't ruin it. Um... I could make some marks with gesso. You know what? Or pink. What do I have? I have both. I have this pink chalk paint. <laughs> Sorry. I have this big pink chalk. I was going to say, I'll never get that open. Ooh. Let me see. That brush is hard as a rock. I don't want to overdo it. I just want to do a little bit here and there. Kind of bring it all together. Get on the cheesecloth a little bit. And in here. All right, I think that might be enough. Do I want any white? I'm getting messy. I'm getting messy. Um, for some reason, I feel like I need a little white. And the mark. So I have to put a little bit of just a tiny little bit, not much, some gesso.
All right, I don't wanna go overboard. I think it's pretty good, I don't know. The thing about this, if I don't like it, I can do a different one for sure, but I think I kinda of do like it. So that's gonna be my cover for my book. And then I just have to decide if I want to, um, you know, um, if I want to bind it beforehand or afterward. I kind of like the tea bag right there. Where's my stick? There it is. I also have the mulberry paper, but I honestly think this is enough for the cover, unless I just do a couple little, um, a couple little, ch -ch -ch, you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, let's see what I have. This is red, festive berries. I don't have a lot of these sprays. Oh, here's a pink. This is pretty. I don't know, Tim Holtz said you do it like this. You don't shake up and down. This is spun sugar. needed that. All right, that's it. I'm going to let that dry and we're going to call that done for the cover. It says daily journaling challenge, daily-ish for imperfect creatives. Well, that certainly is me. Um, I am definitely imperfect. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. And then I keep doing more just because it's fun. All right, I will see you, I guess, on day one, right? The first is Wednesday. Um, I should have rented a car that day, and uh, yeah, life will continue. So I'm going to go clean these brushes off, let this dry, not touch it, and I'll see you in my next video, guys. Have a great day.